I really hate Delilah, by the way. You hate Delilah? Yeah. For? For everything. Doing that? Yeah. For being like that? Like, what the hell? Yeah. I know. I just... I just don't like how... He's in such you know, a hard spot right now. I know, and it's like you have to go make it all about yourself and ins- try to insert yourself into the... Yeah, like, if you really cared about him, you'd just be like... You'd be like, I think we... It's There's nothing wrong with being like, hey, I want to meet up. But it's like, I want to meet up and, like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. And she was like, our whole relationship, I mean, friendship, like, bitch, really? Yeah, I said it. I said the B word. I try to hold it back, but girl, this isn't right. <laughs> There's no need to hold it back. It's not. It's not cool. It's not. Oh, this is a good. Do you think this is a good picture spot? Yeah. All right. Let's get. Let's get out here to this. Yeah. So we can see these. Do you want it to right? be fra- framed yeah. like this? Yeah. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Up a little, so you can get more sky. Or. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do that thing where it's like, we only have ten left, so then we never use them. And then the game ends, you're like, shit. So they say with photography that you want to use the rule of thirds. Ah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, have you ever seen that, like, picture where someone's like, yeah, I was at the Grand Canyon, and I was taking a picture. Have you ever see those pictures where, like, I took a picture, and then they, like, see someone, like, off in a corner staring at them or something? Mm. They have one of those, but there's, like, a famous picture where someone took a picture of the Grand Canyon and there was like some creepy ass dude and up in the corner. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... That's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Why don't we just climb it? No, Stacy. That would make too much sense. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Aliens. Yeah, we'll see about that. 18. I'm looking up the, uh... 1863. Code 1863. Ah, here we go. Here's the law. So we looked it up, so I'm going to read it to you guys. Trespass on national forest lands. However, without lawful authority authority or permission, goes upon any national forest land while it is closed to the public, pursuant to lawful regulation of the Secretary of Agriculture, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than six months or both. So it's nothing like crazy. It just means no trespassing. Yeah, so this is National Forest Land, no trespassing, so it's nothing crazy. No. Nope. Let's see. But my guess is that if it was something crazy, they wouldn't put a, a code for it. <laughs> There's aliens here, <laughs> FYI, so no <laughs> trespassing, and just trust people not to lose their shit. So do you think that the creepy guy is, like, climbing over the thing and I mean, like, hoo, hoo, hoo. shove? And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Okay, I guess we're going to find an axe sometime soon, because there was an axe at... Oh, loose stone. stone. That's not going to work, dude. For these uh, older locks, this is the 80s, you can actually use, like, a thin piece of metal, like Mm -hmm. a long, thin piece of metal, or a pen knife, shove it up in there, and then... And then move it left and right, and it'll, you'll hear a click and you can pull it off. But not for newer ones. But the older ones, you can do that for any of them. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. What? Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. South of Ruby River, so I'm going to check the map. 
tender cabins. Where's Ruby River? So I'm assuming we have to just go south. Where's south? Five Mile Creek. So that's the campfire smoke. Oh, Ruby here's River. Ruby River. There it is. So oh. we gotta go all the way down there. So yep. it's time for an adventure. So we gotta go down. Past the lake. Over the river. And go through left. the woods to grandmother's house we go. Go left. Keep going. When we see what right turn, we don't turn right. And no, then, uh, no. Yeah. And then we go. Basically go back to our lookout. Yeah, and then turn, and then go south. All right. I hope she tells us some juicy shit on the way, otherwise this is going to be a boring walk. Whee! All Maybe right, we'll Delilah. get knocked out again. Tell me more about how you're a manipulative and crazy lady. Yeah, what if we knock down that tr Do we have any tools to knock down the tree? No, we need an axe. See? Chop down. So I think we're going to need an... Yeah, but somebody else has already been... Isn't that creepy? Yeah. I wonder if we can jump. No. no. But see, if like if we were to come back with an axe, we'd be able to get over to that little spot. It's probably one of those things where you come back and you find something really, 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 really weird. Yeah. <laughs> like something that like points out what really happened and it's like their dead bodies or something. Achievement <laughs> unlocked! Dead bodies! You found the campers! <laughs> Good job! You did it! Now everyone thinks you're a murderer! Yay! You unlock the secret ending where it turns out that you're the murderer. Or unlock the secret ending where you get blamed for the murder because you were the last ones who saw them and you're holding a creepy note and you're like, Yeah, I have the note that they sent to me that I'm a creep. And they're like, how'd your underwear get in here? And the pervert bear is in the f corner of the frame going like, <laughs> Pervert bear who frames humans? Yep. This is revenge for people encroaching on his land. Mm -hmm. <gasps> See? It all wraps up because the poster at the beginning said, this is their land. Exactly. The war has begun. <laughs> we, we, we took the deer horns. There's a claw. They're just, you know, they're just getting back at us for what we started. Where are we? Okay. We're going to turn left. Okay, do you want to go... Hmm. Which way is faster? Take the crevice. Uh, always take the crevice, Mari. Gay for nature. Gay for nature. <laughs> it's the beauty of nature. <laughs> so what I like about this is like you don't really dread having to walk all the way across the map because it is pretty. Yes. And the theme of the game doesn't make you feel like you're bored. It's like, oh, this is the time you take when you're hiking and you think about things and it's nice and it smells good. Yeah. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um... Don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Oh my god, it's her. Yeah, it mm. is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? What? Mm. I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Whoa, did you see it? Go back. What? Oh, uh, sorry, I thought it was... Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I don't know. She seems like she's full of shit to me. I don't know. I can't decide whether I think she's full of it or whether she's just kind of... 
kind of dismissive. Being, being normal and doubtful. Well, if it's written, all written down. But she, she didn't see any of it, you know what I mean? Oh, she thinks that he might be... She, she could think that he might be losing it. Right. You know, being all by himself. I don't know. So we want to go down, and then all the way down. Okay. South of the river. Want to go through the cave, I think. I and think then. I just don't like her now. I'm like, no, I don't believe anything you say. Oh! She's freaking me out. I wonder what happens if I don't play with the echoes. We walk in and you see like the corner of some guy's foot. Uh. <laughs> I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies, taking notes, walkie-talkies. Whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine, D. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, except that if you have, you know, traumatic experience, you're all by yourself. <laughs> no, Stacy, it's fine. Yeah. It is fine. Oh. We're okay. <sighs> I'm just like, I'm all like freaked out now. I just keep waiting for us to like come up one of these rocks and somebody's standing at the top waiting for us. I'm sure they're going to be more subtle than that, but whoever the creep is, whatever. I just like, uh, thought it was just going to be a nice cute little game. I didn't. I was like, alone in the woods? No. First things first? Oh, there's le secret lesbians? Every time there's secret lesbians. <laughs> Somebody has to die. Somebody. No. Uh, every creepy game there is and they, that has lesbians in it. Uh, gone Home. You th think it's a ghost story? Secret lesbian. Uh, Life is Strange? No. Yeah. There are, that, those are the only two that come to mind. What other ones are you thinking of? This one? Yeah. What I'm saying is lesbians and creepy horror go hand in hand. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> this creepy horror, okay. It's the, no, it's a new trope, I swear. Yeah. They should make a new trope page, lesbians and creepy horror, where you think everything's going to be like A-OK. I don't -okay. think any of those games count as creepy horror, Mari. Yes, it is. Life is Strange is creepy and horror. Well, what's that thing? This thing or no, the outhouse? The, the outhouse with the sign on it. What's this? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Oh God! <laughs> there's a generator. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my thirties keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. like you're tap dancing over here. Go in there! Go in there! What's the point of this baseball? <laughs> it 
Good job, Ari. You did it. I did it. The secret. Wait, 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 wait. What? There is a. Oh. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. So, in case you guys don't know, a controlled burn is when they burn, like, around the perimeter. So, it's, so it can't spread. Yeah, so they'll burn around the perimeter and then put it out, and then it can't, then there's nothing left for it to Basically, to. so that there's, like, a line of dead forest that the fire can't Or already through. burned for forest. Yes. Yeah. Am I going the right way? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. So that way there's kind of like a line of already burned deadness, so that when the fire reaches it, it can't, you know, burn through and spread even more. Mm -hmm. And they sometimes do that by, you know, burning or digging up dirt and stuff like that. We haven't been down to this section yet, so... This is pretty. Yeah. Should we take a picture? Yeah, okay, yeah, good idea. Do yeah. you want me to go back up? No, I would take a picture, like, looking up the river, like, here. Okay. Do you like that framing? Yeah. Do you want me to go like this, or like this, uh, or more middle? I think that's good. So do you think a beaver did that? Would put the trees there? That's usually why they're, yeah. Maybe. I always, like, I'm so surprised by how strong beavers are. Because they're, like, if you've never seen a beaver before, they're gigantic. They're huge. Yeah. I mean... If you consider just the fact that they literally chopped out trees with their teeth, okay? Yeah, but you know, you remember seeing angry beavers and being like, oh, they're so cute, but like in real life, they're enormous. I did not think angry beavers were cute. Was, were you like afraid of them? No. Oh, okay. I just like, I looked at them as kind of like a new Ren and Stimpy. All right, let's see this. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Dude. Those two. Yeah. Yeah, shipped. Shipped. Miss, miss you. Miss you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shipped. 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 In. I'm in. Uh, let me... Hold on. No date on this one. No. I like the, uh, the handwriting font. Yeah. Keep. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Jane Eyre. Eerie. Oh, Eerie? I always uh, called it Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre, whatever. Oh wait, that's the that's the one where she like falls in love with Mr. Rochester, right? Never read it. Oh. I have no idea. I read it and I was like, this book is bullshit. <laughs> no, the, all those like, you know, all it of those- It was supposed to be feminist, but it just seemed really asshole. No, you know all those like typical books that you have to read in high school? I, I don't think I've read any of those. Hey, is that from... From, uh... This is from... Kennedy? Kennedy Assassination. No, this is from, uh, um, uh, Gone Home. That's the book that the dad wrote. Really? I think so. Wait, I want to look this up. Yeah, look it see. up, look it up. <laughs> um, oh, The Accidental Savior. Or maybe that's a real book. I don't know. Definitely could be. No! That It's it? It's in the fucking... <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you're right! <laughs> it's him! That's... Yeah. Oh my god, good catch. I wonder if some of those other books are also nods to... 
but this is, I think this is a, oops, wrong one. Terminal 7. But Jane Eyre, like, I know it was supposed to be, like, super feminist and shit, and I was just sitting there like, this lady is mean. <laughs> but I can understand why she was like that. And Jane Eyre, spoilers for Jane Eyre. She grows up like an orphan. Her life really fucking sucks, but she's like pretty independent woman. She like grows up being like, ah, I'm not down with all this bullshit. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, I don't know, 1800s kind of. And uh, she becomes a governess for this guy who's, who's daughter Did or niece. Did you think this after high school? How do you remember books that you read in high school? Cause I remember thinking this book was bullshit. Oh, okay. Reading this whole thing and it was supposed to be super feminist. And I was like, I, you know what? It, it could have been feminist for the time, but she, the guy asks her to marry him because she's like fucking badass and he wants to buy her all this shit and like nice clothes and stuff. But she's like, no, I like the clothes that I bought for myself with my own wage. Like, can you chill out? Can you not? Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, I respect, but then the day she's supposed to get married, this other guy comes in like, HE'S ALREADY MARRIED! And she's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, I have something to tell you, Jane. They go up to the attic. His wife is chained up in the attic. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking weird. What? Well, because he married her for the money, and she's from the... She was, like, really rich from the Caribbean, but she cheated on him and got syphilis. This, this plot is, like, all over the place. Dude, it was some juicy shit for the 1800s. Weird. But, yeah, she was chained up in the attic, and everyone was like, oh, no, this place is just haunted. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. But turns out he had a, his wife chained up in the attic who had syphilis. Got it. And it had destroyed her brain. Oh. And he's like, I never told you about oh, it. Oh, well, it, okay. It makes, like, a tiny bit more sense. No, but still, can you imagine the day you're getting married? He's like, I'm so sorry, Jane. I need to tell you something. Opens the door. A wife chained in the attic. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so she's like, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> and then the, his wife dies in a fire that she starts, and he has his eyeballs burned out, and she's... And then she inherits a small amount of money, so she's like, I love you now, because now I'm in charge. I, I, I'm hoping that the book is better than you're making it sound, it's because not. it sounds like garbage. <laughs> well, you know, remember Wuthering Heights, or whatever it was called? No. Heathcliff. I never read any of those books. So, so these, like, English classics that we all call classics now were the fucking garbage of the 1800s. And you can tell, Wuthering Heights... It's about, like, the two craziest... The two people who fall in love, and they're, like, adoptive siblings. And Heathcliff is insane. Uh-huh. <laughs> this, is this is a literary classic, Wuthering Heights. You should, guys should watch the, the Masterpiece you're Theater. Gonna make, you're gonna make them not want to read any There's of these books. There's some old snowmobiles out here. No, it's like... That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Um, no, 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 it's garbage. Like, the good kind of garbage, though. Oh, okay. Like, it's like... It just sounds, like, bad. No, it's like the good... Because back then, when she wrote it, it was so controversial because she was, like, a married woman cheating on her husband and everything. Mm -hmm. And these two men were, like, in love with her. Are you talking about Wuthering Heights or... Wuthering Jane? Heights. Okay. Uh, it was, like... It was basically, like, the twilight of its time. Uh-huh. I just remember, I remember reading The Sun Also Rises and The Old Man in the Sea, and they were both boring as shit. The Old Man in the Sea was, like, the biggest letdown of a book that I can, like, it sticks out to me that I read a whole book about a guy who tried to get a fish and then lost the fish at the end. That's, like, the whole book. What? How long is the fucking book? It's, like, it's a book. It's, shit. That's the, that's the book. Okay, sorry that I spoiled it for you. But no, you, she just saved you a bunch of time. The whole thing is basically, I mean, there's like, there's like literary reasons why it's like that. It's basically about like the struggle of like being human and like all of this like literary bullshit, but it really it's just boring. I know that everyone comes here for our like analy analytical shit of video games, but sometimes shit is just shit, okay? Yeah. Oops, wrong button. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. 
I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. And I then, bet people really love my summaries of classic literary fiction. Oh my god, it's such trash. That's that's your Pride summary. and Prejudice is about two gossipy asshole bitches who hate each other. Cause you know how like when two leaders of a cliques of two different cliques first meet and they like hate each other? Mm -hmm. That's literally what Pride and Prejudice is. Mm -hmm. Where they where one like, oh my god, like he's so whatever. And he's like she, she's like such a like a low class high whatever. We're looking for high ground. Yeah, but he said walk the ravine and look for high ground. Oh, okay. So maybe we can jump from here, is that what you're saying? No, I, I, Ooh. oh god. Oh wait, okay, that's just a oh. totem pole. I thought it was something creepy. Okay. But, oh. and then they end up realizing that they both love talking shit about people with each other the most, and then they get married. Oh, good. Wait, the two women? Yeah, Pride and Precious is, is a lesbian love story. Yeah, but who were you talking about then if... Are you <laughs> uh, talking Mr. About Mr. Whatever his name. Mr. Darcy. He's like, lo he thinks he's like better than everyone else. I know, I feel like that's a story that like plays out a lot in modern movies and stuff, and I'm just like, whatever. Dude, Mr. Yeah, no, they everything is a remake of Pride and Prejudice, but like, Mr. Darcy's like, they both are just judgmental oh, assholes. Oh, check this out. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask him to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. I have to like look at it at a weird angle. What? what the fuck? Wait. See? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not going, I don't think. There we go. Oh, okay. I guess. What? This what? is a pre-release build, guys. Just leave them... Whatever. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weebelow or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weebelow do it. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weebelows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Uh, bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. That's from at least five years ago. You want to call that number later? No. Why not? I mean, call it. Just call it now. Where's the? Oh, my phone's charging. Can I yeah, use your phone? Yeah, it's probably by the toilet. It is, obviously. Here, no, I'll just call it on Skype. Okay. Why don't we just, like, Google it and see if it's an actual number before you call it? No, that's not fun. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it anyway. Three, zero, seven. It says it's a pharmacy in Wyoming. Nah. It is in Cody, Wyoming. It's the... Hello. Thank you for calling Medical Yeah, that's kind of a shitty thing to put in your game, though. Yeah, it's a real phone number. You would th Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. It's a jerk move, uh, Fire Campo Santo. Why would they do that? I don't know, because now those people are going to get, like, a ton of numbers from... 
from like randos. From, yeah, from people being like, "Hey, is this a secret number? Is this an Easter egg? Are you an Easter egg?" And they'll be like, "What the fuck are you talking I about?" I wonder if they put a placeholder number in the pre pre release build so that you know people. What? I stomped it out. Whatever. Should have. Bye. All right, let's see if we can find the, uh, oh, what's this? Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hey, Axe! Hell yeah. I feel dangerous. All right, let's, let's look at the stuff. What's this? A memo. Oh, let me read it. You want to read it first? Oh, we got to take it. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh. Oh, I think he was going to talk. Well, we're reading it now. In the next few days, you, are, you and your team will be dropping in the th whatever... The thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Rupee River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. So, Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. And she said that she didn't know anyone at Wapiti Station. Or even, like, yeah. Or even that there is a Wapiti Station or something. So, upon Yeah, she was completely unaware of it. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks, as always, for your service. Rich Slusarenko, Assistant Superintendent. I feel like something weird is going on. I Yeah, I, I think that that's we're meant to believe it's something weird. Yeah, but I just I want to point out for the audience, she was completely, like, not completely unaware of Wadapi Station, but if it's right there, you think she would know that there's what's going on. Or that it exists. Yeah. She didn't even know that there was a fence. Maybe she didn't know because he didn't know, though. What do you, you know mean? know what I mean? What? He, who's he? Uh, us. Henry? Yeah. So what I'm saying is she says, oh, well, I get my food delivered to me, so it's not going to be in the box. Yeah. And... So, like, you're saying she's never been out there? I feel like she either doesn't work, actually, she doesn't actually work for the Forest Preserve, or she isn't real. Yeah. One of those two. Like, something about her is she's not real. Mm-hmm. She either doesn't work and she's not a part of the official thing and she's, she's like, a creeping, like, hey, yeah, I just come out here to be by myself, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's normal to be a... F yeah, we all fuck up. <gasps> like, really weird. Yeah, yeah. Or she's, like, not real. Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Poverty Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Me. I... I think they're studying me. <laughs> because of what happened to you before. Everything with Julia. Yeah. Maybe they're studying the effects of something like no, that. No, dude, you're crazy. Grief. <laughs> Grief when you have no other choice but to be alone with your thoughts. So they set up an entire site just for you? Maybe. Uh, yeah, probably not. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. No. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Mmm. She's not real. Okay. I know that that's your th <clears throat> running theory, you don't have to keep saying it, though. No, I'm we... talking out loud to myself. I know. That's how I think. I know. I'm just letting you know that, that we've heard you. And... What? 
No, I I was freaking out about him going over the thing. Oh. Uh, hey, Stacy, you just gotta be glad that I'm uh, jumping out of my chair dancing like that other time. Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, at the end of the game, I guess we'll have to see whether you're dancing or not. All right. Uh, all right. So, wait. Where are we? We're just going back to the back home. No. No. Wait. There. Okay. We can go up and then left, or up and then. Okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Just, you know. I wonder if other people hey would there. get... I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Oh, boy. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh boy. Oh, I'm glad we don't have to walk all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? Yeah, what the fuck? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay. What the fuck did she do? I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? She's trying to tell us something. Oh, cottonwood? Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um... That tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. She's trying to tell us something. Yeah, I wonder She's if... She's afraid. Mm-hmm. Dude. Dude. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. This one? Head yeah. to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Okay, let's check out our map. So we're, oh, it's still saying for us to examine the flora poster. Do oh, did we not? Oh, no. Oh okay. Oh wait, uh, this is there. Yeah. We... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Hmm. Well, we're doing it! Ever wonder how Stacy and I always know the most random facts? It's because we read a lot. But who has time to read these days with all our, like, I don't know, stuff that we gotta do?
With audiobooks, I can listen to a book and learn things while I'm cleaning the house, taking the train to school, doing menial tasks, fixing a computer. I can do all those things while also listening to a cool audiobook like The Lunar Chronicles, A Song of Ice and Fire, a biography, or maybe some sort of science book. I don't know. I don't know what you like. So if you sign up to Audible with our referral link, you get a 30-day free trial and a free book. Just download it to your smartphone or iPod Touch or whatever you use to listen to music. And then you get to listen to whatever you want and go off into fantastic worlds while you're on the bus or something. 